Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, you are going to cover the effects in Adobe Illustrator. You can access the effects in the appearance panel over here. Click on the effects and you have all of the effects over here. You can also access them through the menu in the effects. We have two types of effects. We have Illustrator effects and Photoshop effects. The Illustrator effects are vector-based effects. When you're adding it to your object, it's not going to lose the resolution. Whereas the Photoshop effects are raster effects it means Illustrator will depend on the pixel to render these effects. For demonstration, I'm going to duplicate our all. I'll just click on it, press on the Alt or Option and move it to the side. And we're going to add a raster effect. Go to the effects and I'm going to go to the stylize. Actually, we're going to use the texture and we'll use this patchwork. This window will open for us. Now you can change it to other styles. Let's keep it this one, press OK. And now if we zoom in, as you can see, our artwork is pixelated because Illustrator is depending on the pixels to render this uh, artwork. If you go to the effects, you actually can change the resolution over here, the Cumint raster effect. You can change it to 72 to make the resolution lower, just like this. This is when you're working on big projects and you don't want to use a lot of power of your computer. You can make it a lower resolution. At the end, you can come over here again and change it to the highest resolution that you want. For now, I'm going to keep it at 72. And now let's move to the other owl and add some of the illustrator effects to it. Let's move it to the side a bit. By the way, guys, you are going to create this OWL in the next lesson. It will be your homework and then I will show you how to create it. Now let's go to the effects and add a illustrator effect to this OWL. Go to the effects and then stylize. We are going to add the scribble effect to it. We are going to add the scribble effect to the whole object. So everything will have this effect. Over here, you can change uh, anything that you want. Let's keep it like this and press OK. Now if you zoom in on this uh, OWL, you will see that it doesn't lose any resolution because this effect is a vector-based effect, so it's not going to lose any resolution. You can access to the effects in the Appearance panel. If you don't have Appearance, uh, go to the window and enable it over here. Now we have the Scribble effect on this OWL. We can double click on it or one click to edit the effect. You can also remove it just like this. Now we can also add effects to individual things of one object. For example, this all is grouped together. If we double click on it to go inside the group, we are inside the layer now. I will double click once more to go inside the group. Now we can select individual wings of the all. I'm going to add some effects to this uh, wing. Actually, I'm going to add the scribble effect again to this wing. You can add the same effect with the same setting just like this. Click over here, scribble and press OK. Now we have this scribble effect over the wing. We will add another effect to the eyes. I just selected the eyes and I'm going to add another effect. Let's find something else for the eyes. I'm going to the distort and maybe use roughen. Just like this, you have two different effects on one object. By the way, you can go deeper and select individual part of this owl and add the effect that you want. You can also do something else. If I select the owl, all of it together, and then go to the object and expand the appearance. Right now, we got rid of the effect and also we turned this effects to actual vectors. Now, if I double click on this uh, wing, as you can see, we don't have the effect on it anymore. And also, the effect is turned to an actual vector. If you keep double-clicking on this wing, you will see that this scribble effect is turned to many individual lines. Just like this, you can move them around, you can change anything that you want. It's no longer a scribble effect. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you about the effects. You can always turn your effects into actual vectors and layers. I'm going to Control Z 
and I'm going to show you the last thing. You can actually save your styles, the effects that you have. Let me control Z until you don't have anything on this all. I'm going to add the scribble effect again. Actually, I will add some illustrator effects. Go to the stylize and choose the scribble effect. Press OK, I'm going to add another effect. Go to the Pathfinder or Distort. I'll choose Twist. Let's twist it a bit. Press OK. Now go to the Graphic Styles. We can save it as a graphic style now. Sorry, I didn't select the right object. I'm going to remove it like this. Now select the All and press on this plus to add the style. Now anything that you create, for example, I will create a rectangle. I will just click on the style and everything will be applied. For this one, we don't have the fill, that's why I cannot see anything. I will just enable the fill. And just like this, we've added the same effects. If you go to the appearance, you will see both of the scribble effect and twist effect. And you can always move them around and change their settings for your new objects. Okay guys, this is how you work with the effects in Adobe Illustrator. Of course, I'm not going to go through every individual effects and the combination of effects. I will leave this for you to go and experiment yourself. Now you know how to use effects, it's just a matter of knowing which effects you are looking for. Just experiment with everything that you have. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed and learned something new. In the next lesson, I will give you a homework to practice what you have learned in this section. I will see you there, bye bye.